Hi all, and welcome back to our uh, Elder Scrolls Online Let's Play. Today we are going to... Yeah, would you shut up? Today we are going to do some crafting, and let's see if we can uh, figure out a way. <sighs> Look at that. Oh, cool. Familiar weapons and stuff. Oh my god, that's really... Uh, we could Still nothing. Tan some leather here. What do they think they are playing at? We paid them, yes? Who knows? Maybe they got caught? It wouldn't be the first time. Nice. Nice. If they don't need the drop soon, let's cut our losses and make for the mainland. Ah. This one does not like it. Or perhaps you are right. Still, keep checking, will you? There's nothing like a good fire to warm one's weaponry, my friend. Ooh. Cool. Ah, oh here, okay, cool. Hmm. Yeah. Need open slot. That sucks when you're in full. Isn't there a place where I can ah, store some things? Without a well-crafted, carefully maintained weapon, you can end up as a meal for some wild animal. Or worse. All sorts of dangerous things out there, my friend. We are all there. I got the coin for it, so that's no problem. I got... I got it! I got an open piece open spot. What the fuck does he mean by that? Okay. Without a well-crafted, carefully maintained weapon, you can end up as a meal for some wild animal. Or worse. All sorts of dangerous things out there, my friend. I still don't know what this one does. It must be near a shrine of Mara. It's a marriage, uh, marriage certificate or something like that. Okay, cool. The sapphire and nine iron ink is nice. <clears throat> well, 
This way I can get more Probably gold from it. If they don't have to drop soon, let's cut our losses and make for the mainland. This one does I don't have like it. Mm. But perhaps you are right. Still, keep checking, will you? Without a well-crafted, carefully maintained weapon, you can end up as a meal for some wild animal. Or worse. <sighs> Staff, ice, mabel, lightning, restoration. Yeah. Ooh, I can research in some of these maybe. Might just go research in the. Um, I think lightning would be the best one. Since it is uh, primarily lightning, I'm shooting. I don't. Buying, selling. I've got what you need. Is this an inn or something like that? I don't think so. Good. seeking power. I can see it in your eyes. Look on my wares. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for.
I see the delight in your eyes. You want something special, yes? Hmm. Okay, prepare, kid. <laughs> Coward! You weren't there. You would have fled too if you'd seen what they you asked us to there. do. weren't there. Both of you, calm down. Brother. Uh, do I don't know. Chances. Sometimes. They have a lot of gold. Station. When they hire mercenaries, it's to fight someone they can't Lesson be bothered with, not to chop an enemy down to size. Cooking There's fire. a meat left, you're paid well. There isn't. Don't we have a like an inn or something like that? Or a place we can store or stuff? What the great Welcomes you, honored guests, and hopes she can be of service to you. I do hope Hinamu comes to his senses. Since grandmother died, he isn't himself. He's never been a heavy sleeper. Lately, he's taken to wandering Mistral at night. He's even changed the way he dresses. Okay. Things I don't need to know. Okay. Ow. Blind. Every yeah, one of these sea me. elves is a Get venomous rid, serpent waiting to strike. We should have cleansed this Very place of Malamar scum the moment we arrived. For five gold, gaze into its eyes, fear into the face of death. Lorcan, take them all. Why did the Sylvanar negotiate with these filthy Malamar? Those pirates are a stick in the high elf eye. They Apparently. capture our merchant ships and raid our settlements. If I had any say, we'd negotiate with a sword at their throats. Not as long as the Sylvanar confuses diplomacy with capitulation. He's inside with the rest of them, pretending this won't end in bloodshed. Go, see this farce for yourself. It is safely caged. Okay. Hello. Your pardon, friend. The Dominion's arrival on Carnarthy's roost has upset the locals. It falls on me to smooth the waters. Please, help yourself to food or drink. I'm happy to speak with you once this matter is settled. Most unexpected. It seems we have a mutual friend. May I ask, what brings you to Mistral? Then perhaps you can advise me on a small matter. The Maoma have a treaty with Kanathi's Roost. This is nothing to fear. A treaty is something I can work with. 
Yet neither Ambassador Ulondil nor Headwoman Harani will produce a copy. Indeed, why not? It would be indecorous to suggest the treaty is anything but actual and sound, yet I fear it won't present itself without a more active line of inquiry. Would you be my voice in this with Ambassador Ulondil and Headwoman Harani? Uh, yeah, of exactly. A chorus of requests may succeed in carrying the tune. Harani in particular seems eager to see this resolved, though I fear the Dominion presence binds her hands. But I'll leave you to it. Okay, cool. It's hard to keep track of the new faces since the hurricane, but I don't believe we've met. Welcome to Mistral. May your stay here be full of warm winds and soft sand. And I told him the mere act of doing so would complicate matters with our longtime Maomer allies. They take great offense to the Dominion's claims upon our island. Look around you. What great armies do you see? Our survival depends on knowing when to fight and when to please. The treaty brought us prosperity for generations. I will not be the one to break it. Okay. We upheld our treaty with the people of Kanathi's Roost for generations. And this is how they repay our kindness? We will not allow High Elf thieves to gain a foothold in our territorial waters. Uh, speak for yourself, you bloody bastard. By all rights, this is our island. Harani's people occupy it with our blessing. If she breaks the treaty, so breaks our truce. We'll take back our island, and the Khajiit will pay the price. We keep a copy on an island far from here. I see no reason to send for it. I won't allow High Elf Warfrats another chance to take our rightful lands. Why mm. don't you bother Harani for her copy? I only did. Ah, nothing happens. Any luck securing a copy of the treaty? Then there's little chance for compromise. I'll call a break in formal talks until everyone calms their nerves. Do you understand the stakes, yes? It's why I ask you to take a more active role in locating the treaty. I don't do so lightly. I can't allow the Dominion's first act on Kanathi's roost to be one of conquest. I understand our mutual friend prefers the rum served at a nearby tavern. Perhaps he would have ideas on securing a copy of the treaty. Uh, yeah, apparently. It's a name, a title, and our holy city. Quite an honor to carry around such an important word and the occasional burden in its confusion of outsiders. Not even the Green Lady calls me by my given name. Edelorn doesn't roll off the tongue, I suppose. Hmm. You're absolutely right, Igor. Sleep there. Ugh. I, I need a cup of coffee. Uh, we should still have some coffee left in the tin. Yep, we do. Oh, this tin is magnificent because it can hold the coffee warm for a very long period of time. Around and round we go, where we swirl, somebody knows. And of course milk. The sweet, the sweet too. Okay.
Fighting an opponent you know nothing about is like going into battle unarmed. Study him first. What he wants, how he moves. If you can discover this, he is defeated before blades are drawn, yes? Cool. You think this one drinks on the job? Good. Then so will everyone else. What is the word, my new friend? Ulandil certainly won't. His viper tongue is sharp. But Harani can't because her copy was stolen. It only takes three drinks to loosen the tongue of the Chancery clerk, if you were curious. <laughs> A good question. Raz answers it with an interesting bit of trivia. Ulandil posted a guard at his quarters the day of the theft. His subtleties rivaled only by his pleasant personality. Oh, and it's five drinks for embassy staff. Six puts them out. <laughs> Someone needs to slip into Marmor Embassy, find a way past the guard, and rifle through Ulandil's private quarters. Oh, and do it without bloodshed that could provoke war with the Marmor. In case he was not clear, Raz is talking about you. <laughs> the pragmatist in this one says it's because you have no firm connection to the Dominion. The optimist says it's because you have proven yourself more than capable already. When you have the treaty, meet both of us at the bridge. Oh, uh, shit. A stealth mission? I am not stealthy. Canarty's roost and the Dominion. Together, we'll achieve unity. <gasps> Your chance for untold prosperity comes with Dominion rule. Are you lost? Ambassador Ulandil's quarters aren't open for visitors. None of your business. Go bother the clerk. He doesn't know when to shut up either. Are you lost? Ambassador Ulandil's quarters aren't open for visitors. None of your business. Hmm. <coughs> 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 
you're supposed to do out here. Okay, how the fuck am I gonna get past that son of a bitch? Woodwork can increase a little too nice. Are you lost? Ambassador Ulandil's quarters aren't over. What? Give it here. She wants to meet me. Okay. Now, out of my way. Yeah. Let's get the hell out of here. Um, what way? Oh, okay. The spring in your step. Did you know a sense of accomplishment can alter one's stride? You learn to notice it in others. The Sylvanar is certainly being watched by the Maomar. You should inform him the treaty is safe. He will know what to do next. The Sylvanar and the Green Lady are being put up in the Armorer's home. Uh, this one recommends you knock before entering. Green Lady gets jumpy at silent approach. At a quick glance, there are holes in the treaty. When the Sylvanar worries at them, he'll tear a hole in the Marmor's side. The treaty, of course. Not Ambassador Ulandil. Though, heh, <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> what the fuck is up with this guy? Okay... You saved our high and mighty queen, eh? Huh. Maybe you should have had the crown. I'm already right up here, apparently. Buying, selling, I've got what you need. Ow. Ah, oh, shit. Time for you to leave. I... I no! No! It wasn't me. You found him like this? What did you see? Answer me! Then you know nothing. A thousand curses on this wretched island. They've taken my beloved. Who would want him dead? None who survive the day. I am the unerring bolt. Once loosed, I cannot stop till I pierce my quarry's eye. Harani knows her own city. If she won't tell you who did this, I'll shorten her tail until she does. Now go! Go! Okay, let us just... Uh, 
Heavy armor increase? No, I don't want a heavy armor increase. I want light armor increase, you damn dirty dirt. Ooh, check. Okay, um, yeah. Not again. Please, Sid. But he was just here. What happened? How awful. Who would harm such a peaceful creature? My guards saw nothing. We doubled the watch to ensure safety. I cannot abide the Sylvanar's murder in my town. I'll shut down the port if I have to. None sets sail until his killer is brought to justice. Of course. I hereby declare you a deputy of the Mistral Guard. No door shall be barred to you. Well, he will. On my desk, you will find the most recent reports from the Mistral Guard. You are welcome to review them for any inconsistencies that could lead to the killer's capture. The Sylvan are murdered? These treacherous Khajiit have plotted with the Mawamer to slay our How noble dare. envoy. The Sylvanar was our guest. You go too far, Vaisreev. Outrageous! More Dominion treachery. I will conduct my own investigation. No sea rat will show me up. I'll get to the bottom of this myself. Well, uh, yeah, we we'll just have to wait and see. So thank you all so very much for watching, and catch you on the flip side.